Hey guys, Lightforce here, bringing you a very special video featuring Bones429 and Abrian. I delayed this video a little bit because I really wanted to get someone that had a much, much better opinion on this dragon uh, that had been flying it for a while. I am going to be turning it over to him to really take over and show you guys how to ruin this dragon, how to fly him a little bit, and you can get some comparisons and side-by-side -side action. So, without further ado, let's go. Hey guys, it's Bowen429. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about Aubrian. I currently have him at level 31. Uh, last season I worked a little bit on Kayla, got her first line completed, and uh, well her first page, I mean, and a little bit of her uh, second page done, so I got a little bit of her gear. So, uh, you know, that's why it, it, getting a rider really helps. It really helps with uh, improving the attack power on a dragon, getting um, just, it enables them to level up a little bit faster. Not really that much, uh, but, you know, it, it, it's not too bad. Gives you a little bit of XP. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today is how to rune Aubrian. Um, this is the first season that I know of. If you're an older player and have been, player, or been playing since the conception of the game, you might know a little bit better than me. But since I've been playing, I've been playing since the Kanara season. The end of the Kanara season is when I started playing. I only got was able to get Kanara since Platinum Stone, which is really sad because <laughs> she's still pretty powerful at my level. I struggle sometimes about taking on... <laughs> Or trying to defend against Canaris, but um, uh, I digress. Anyway, like he has uh, two runes and one glyph in his line. The two runes, I forget when you get the glyph, but it's really, really amazing that they finally introduced the glyph. Because before they had three runes, you'd have two of them on there already, and then you'd get your legendary or you'd get your mythic rune, and be like, and have to kill one of your, your epic uh, runes, and it wasn't cool, so, anyway, I got uh, in there the two uh, legendary and the epic rune of renewal, and then I also have the uh, glyph, which is right there in the middle there of the glyph, and then I also have a wisdom rune on, on him to help me level him up a little bit faster, I have both a uh, uh, epic and a rare, and also I like the epic one because it gives me rage generation as well. And if I would have had more rage, to, more rage glyphs, I probably would have put them uh, on here. But I don't really get too many rage glyphs. I get a lot of glyphs for the stinking uh, defense towers, which I don't really use because I already have my base up the way I want it. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say that if you once you get the three, uh, the the two runes and the glyph. I don't know if there's any, uh, if you have a fire turret glyph resist, fire turret resist glyph, I'd put that on him because it'll help his resist a little bit more. I don't know if there is a such thing yet, uh, but other than that, the glyphs you're going to want to use are rage or wisdom if you're trying to level them up just a little bit faster because especially at lower levels, trust me. It sucks to level dragons, it really does, especially divines. Anyway guys, um, I'll send you guys a video later of uh, how I fly them, and yeah, so I'll talk to you later. So what you want to do, you kind of want to just take out these these high power things here, that, that flat tower is not really going to do anything. It's going to do this not really for the health, but more so for the... Uh, you know, I need my uh, uh, rage bar to be uh, stay pretty good here, or the you know what people call it the magic bar. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fly, keep our health pretty decent here. Activate our chaos. Take out some of these things here. Go ahead and throw one on there. Thank you a lot. 
cut I'm throwing on here is our tough back up to max HP. And we're gonna activate this thing right here. Take off that, take that, it'll bring this down pretty low so we can go ahead and throw that on there. And go ahead and do it with these big things right here. Go ahead and kill them. And I'm gonna dodge this. the best player of this guy but you know I'm, I'm, I'm liking him quite a bit you know his, his uh, ability to dodge projectiles and you know it's pretty nice I really really have been enjoying him lately he's a good player you know I don't know if uh, I'll use him for war attacks right now I've been using my Nickricks but uh, he's, he's alright let me go ahead and use chaos one more time clear up these things and put one of the last one on there and I'm going to set and dead. So, it's a pretty good dragon. You know, I like him. I got Kayla on him. Uh, Kayla, I uh, completed her first page and then I got a few pieces of her gear last season. So, it's really nice. You know, really, really like him. I want to give a big thank you to Bone429, especially for all his patience, letting me help him out on this project. As always, if you guys have any questions, I'll be able to forward them his way. One of the things that I really like about Abrian is that it's a dragon that can still dodge red mage shots, which make it very interesting in the fact that if you can take out blues, you have a very good chance of dodging any incoming skills, attacks, and the spell allows you to dodge most of everything besides beam or laser style attacks, which is really quite nice. And yes, that means dark flak is dodged. Pretty decent dragon. I really like it. But uh, that's how I play with play. That's how I fly with him. Not necessarily saying it's the best way, but it works for me. So get my like, XP here. Really like that ability because you put one rage in and you get two back. So you get a free rage every time you use it. It's pretty nice. Ouch, that kind of hurt. I did that a little too late. 